Good morning, guys. Uh, thanks for checking out this week's video. Uh, a couple quick things to talk about. Um, I did finish uh, setting up the back end support for output device drivers. Um, and uh, I'm having a little trouble getting VGEM um, working under Windows right now. Uh, so I haven't really had a chance to test it completely but uh, the actual interface and all that stuff isn't throwing any errors. So it looks like the code for at least the input mapper and the plugin support is working just fine. Um, there's just an issue with the VGEM drivers themselves and I'm working with the guys over there trying to figure out what that is. Um, so with that kind of holding uh, development on that side for right now, um, without having a output plugin to test it with, uh, I finished up work on the game detection API, um, and it's working a lot better now. The it is finding games uh, a lot more regularly and accurately, uh, as well as um, being able to differentiate between games and regular applications uh, using various detection methods. It's all, it all seems to be working pretty well right now. Uh, I've also included a local caching. Uh, functionality to that to further reduce hits to both our server and the remote giant bomb server. So now it'll work off of a local cache before it even reaches out to the internet at all. And this will also help for uh, like mobile computers or metered connections where the internet isn't always connected and they don't want to you know, be reaching out to begin with, there, there is the option then to just be reading internally while still having all the same functionality, um, with the exception of cloud access to store and download profiles. Uh, without internet access, that obviously isn't going to work. So, um, But otherwise, the game detection features and the, uh, the nice UI that that incorporates, with, as well as some of the future features coming that's going to be tied into that, um, including uh, just a, like a one-click button to create a profile for a game and have it automatically set up so that profile launches when that game launches. Uh, that's something that I'm looking forward to implementing uh, so users don't have to try to create their own manual detection um, strings or uh, try to set up you know which application they should tie it to or executable or launcher or so on and so forth. They'll just be a one-click button that'll set all that stuff up in the back end. So uh, that's something that's getting implemented soon and that'll tie in with the automatic profiles uh, feature which I sort of showed off a little bit but didn't really have uh, much use for until I got some of this other stuff in line. So um, that's what's been going on here. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying to get VGEM uh, working in Windows 10, try to figure out why those drivers are throwing errors on me. Uh, once I do, um, I'm going to test the input to output the, the complete uh, workflow of the data, uh, make sure that's all good, and if it is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and push another alpha. Um, but first, got to figure out why those drivers are throwing this error for me. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, have a good one.